welcome to the Tiny House Ideas podcast. Um, it's interesting. It's like you say, we're sort of in in different in different times now where people are sort of interested in in how they can do things differently um, and i think that's a good sort of transition into, into the next sort of topic of, of talking about the, the times that we're in at the moment and you mentioned 2020 you had that period where people were sort of very very hesitant very reluctant because they were uncertain about their jobs they're uncertain about what what the year was to hold but then there was sort of a, a sudden spike again in, in terms of people who are interested in having um, the adus in, in la and california where that's sort of recently been passed but how would how else would you sort of summarize in terms of 2020 because I think personally I, I sort of found it to be a lot of people who are who are now realizing that the that the sort of standard living um standard living like the American dream I guess isn't for them and they're sort of looking at alternative ways so I can imagine that um you guys have obviously seen an increase in demand this year yeah we have I mean I think that you know this <clears throat> the movement has been here for many many years you know yeah. and I think that you know it 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 was kind of quiet, you know, it really was, it was kind of quiet. It was, you know, it was kind of the, I, you know, I hate to say it, but it was kind of the green hippie movement way back mm. when, you know, and yeah. it was, it was, you know, off grid, you know, get my tiny house and tuck it away and, you know, solar and, 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 and water catchment and all those things. So now it's become a lot more mainstream. Um, and, you know, as it becomes mainstream or has become, you know, I think that the whole need has changed to where, as I said, you know, to where, you know, what we're building is more along the lines of how people live. Yes. Small, you know, more yeah. along the lines of, um, of, of, you know, give me the stuff that I need on a daily basis, um, make it comfortable, make it affordable and give me the, the flexibility of taking that where I want to. And, and, yeah. and so I can afford it, you know, and I think that that's another component of, of building a tiny house, in, at least here in, in the U.S., that's certified. Um, so the banks are familiar with, with that. The mm -hmm. banks and the lenders can look at that and say, OK, I can lend you the money, John, because I know what that is. And of course, yeah. you got to have credit and all that. But, but you got to fill their little little boxes in in, in, in in such a way that they're, they're familiar with it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's one of the reasons that we build our tiny houses to the National uh, Travel Trailer Code. And we're certified. And that certification gives that buyer not only a comfort level, but the ability to transport the tiny house down the highway. Mm. The ability to to get, get a get a loan with good interest rates on their tiny house and provides them with the ability to resale that because, yeah. because it, it falls and meet, meets those um, requirements. So, you know, you, you, you built value into the unit by doing so. And I think that, you know, that's one of the other things that, you know, the bulk of tiny house construction back when, you know, it was kind of willy nilly. I mean, it was like, here's a tiny house. I, I found this trailer and I, yeah. you know, and I, and I, and I, and I was able to go, you know, scrounge up a bunch of two by fours and some, some barn siding. And, you know, here it is. And I've got curtains for cabinet doors, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's, you know, there's still some of that going on, but mm. that's not, I don't think that that's mainstay anymore. Yeah. I don't think that, you know, anymore, I think it's flexibility mm. is the name of the game. I think, you know, um, initially we came into this thinking that, you know, all of our tiny houses are going to have an off grid, have off-grid capabilities um but we soon found out that off-grid capabilities and especially when it comes to solar holy smokes dude a solar system to power a tiny house with today's appliances gonna cost you as much as a tiny house <laughs> you know so it's like okay let's get realistic here you know do you really want to be off-grid no but i just i might right well yeah. let's take a look at this and you know find another way to to, to, to skin that cat or to solve that issue, which could be, you know, a hybrid system that can work for you because most people aren't off grid. Most yeah. people want the ability to be off, but will they ever really? I don't think so. Thanks for watching this little teaser for the Tiny House Ideas podcast. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, it's available on all major streaming platforms, so that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all of the others. Alternatively, if you'd rather watch it sort of in, in a video format like this video has been, then that's available on Patreon. Just search for Tiny House Ideas. Um, so thanks again for watching. Please do check out the full episode. And thanks again.